And now, it's time for another Dice Tower review. Well, Hasbro Connect was the one of the games in the coal mining series. And today I'm going to be looking at the Ruhr Valley, which is the expansion for Hospital Connect, which adds a few things. So, I really liked Hospital Connect. Let's look at how the expansion plays and see what it adds. Hospital Connect the Ruhr Valley comes with three different expansion modules. You can play with one of the three or all of the three together. The first expansion module is new tiles. So as you can see, there's a bunch of new tiles that you can mix in with your regular tiles. They have different effects. They have the corresponding tokens to the effects. So, if, you know, if you're using the Maiden, you can also, in addition to the Maiden, you, you would get these tiles from the Maiden. And these, just like every other building, what you do is you swap these out for your regular buildings and you can use these buildings in addition or instead of your regular buildings and play the game the exact same way you would normally play it. In addition to Expansion 1, we have Expansion 2, the Black Buildings. The Black Buildings are similar to other buildings, but as you can see, they're all black. And the, f the Black Buildings work a little differently because what happens is you get one of your player markers back and get one of these for scoring, so you have an extra player marker. On the black buildings, only one person can go on each black building. So if I go on this black building, then no one else could use this black building the rest of the game. No one could pay me to go there. No one else can use it. And if you're first, second, third, or fourth to go on a black building, you're going to get a different amount of points. You also get each black building has a one-time action, plus you take a token from here, which will be some sort of end-of-the-game help or scoring for the black buildings. The third expansion is the Iron Expansion. Here you get a new player board for your tunnel. And as you can see, in addition to wood, there's also ones that need to be made from iron to hold up the mine, which are these iron tokens. You also have a four, because now instead of three rounds, we have four rounds in the game. You have a workshop that obviously make iron, and you have three new tiles that work with iron. Specifically, plus there's on the spindle you have for the payment phase, there's a fourth one where you have to pay things for the fourth one. Plus, on the rain phase, there's a new action for the rain phase. So, in this, you can, you, you can put in all three of these buildings, which will obviously give you iron powers. This one will give you a token for wood and iron, and you can mix and match with these. With the iron, not only is there four rounds in the game, so you, instead of going around the spindle three times, you're going to go around the spindle four times and you're going to get 12 actions in the game instead of nine actions. You also can build iron. It, you can build iron in an iron, you have to build it in an iron spot, but you could also build it in a wood spot if you have it. When you have iron, for everything that you've also depleted the coal out from beyond the iron, you're going to get an extra point for that, for each iron that you have. So they're kind of a more powerful tunnel, but the iron is obviously harder to produce than the wood. So there are all three expansions that fit in with your normal base game of Haspel Connect. I like this expansion. I think that you can play with all three at once. I don't think you need to just play with one of them. I think you could add all three all at once and it will add to the game. You obviously will have new tiles that you can play with. You have the black tiles, which add that extra little bit of, I've claimed this one, I've also blocked your building route, so you might have to jump and pay extra to build elsewhere. And you have the iron, which makes it kind of a different coal mining shaft that you have to go down. All three expansions are good. Um, I don't know how necessary this expansion is. I mean, Hospital Connect is a great game on its own, as you've seen in our previous reviews. This expansion adds an okay amount of stuff. I wouldn't say it adds a great amount, but I wouldn't say that it adds nothing. It's a pretty good expansion. It's one that, if you really like Hasbro Connect, I think it will add that extra little bit of stuff to it. So it's one that you 
want to get if you're a big fan of the game, I would give it an awesomeness rating of 6 and say, if you like the game, get it. If you were so-so on the game, then it, you're, this isn't going to add much to you. But it is a good expansion and adds a few little things to it. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff, in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.